Let's talk about preventive maintenance filtering and reporting. I'll go to the main PM data update screen. And when the screen opens, all of the PMs are listed in the data grid. In the case where you'd want to filter this and possibly just print out one piece of equipment, what we would do is go down to the bottom portion of the screen, this framed in area here. Remember from the previous video, this is for closing and reassigning PMs. This lower section is strictly for filtering what shows up in this screen. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a piece of equipment out of here. And when I pick it, it automatically populates the screen with just that equipment item. Okay, so I do have some other filter options here. And this particular filtering is limited to one of these fields at a time, other than we can uh, limit the interval. So if we just want the weeklies, we could choose that from here. Now the print scheduler screen, which is covered in another video, provides you unlimited filters. So you could have the technician by the line for a particular type of task if you wanted. And in that case, uh, the print schedule actually prints everything automatically based upon your schedule. So this is kind of for a, a really a manual, uh, kind of an on-the-fly filtering. Okay, so I have the, this data here. So how do I print it? Well, there's quite a few ways to do this. Probably the easiest way would be to go to the file, print, assign PM lists, and you'll notice we have some menu items up here that refer to printing PMs, but the bottom one actually has the filtered equipment item included in the menu item name. So this is one thing that MateSmart will do for you. Whenever you create a filter, it will add a custom menu item for you. So let's see what we get. I click on that, and there's our PM list for just that piece of equipment. And in this case, it does have parts linked to the PM and also has unlimited details. These details could be SOP, safety instructions, pretty much anything you want. Okay, so from here, this could be printed, emailed, faxed, uh, converted to a different file type, such as Adobe Acrobat, and so on. That would be done from the export menu. Okay, and this is also covered in another video. All right, so another way we might want to print this would be, suppose we have this piece of equipment. We don't really want to print out all of the tasks. Maybe we just want to filter this by, say, for example, uh, the weeklies. So we could use our weekly filter down here, use the day filter, put seven and seven in here and we get just weeklies. But in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select these. I did a block select. I don't know if I grabbed all the weeklies, but I'll go ahead and get those. Okay, so once I have these selected, I could right click and pick print selected PMs from the right click context menu. When I pick that, I get just my weeklies or whatever was selected. Okay, so that's a couple of ways to filter. There are others. That's all I'm going to cover in this particular video. Okay, the other topic I'd like to cover now is data grid display settings. Now, all data is presented in data grids. So maybe I don't want all these fields to show up. For example, I don't need this to show up. What I can do is I can take my mouse, move it up here on this vertical bar, grid line and I can close this up. Maybe I'm not using sequence and I'd like task to be a little wider for example. Okay so that's the way I like this to look. Now what I do is I go to view, grid settings, save grid settings. From now on when I open this screen these settings are linked to my user ID so the program will know how to uh, space these columns out. Okay, it also pertains to sorting. So if we have it sorted a particular way, 
on a particular column, we can save that as well. So if we leave and come back, you'll see that it's sorted properly. All right, so suppose we want to get our full grid back. How do we do that? Well, essentially in this program, when you set a default setting, and that's what this is, these grid settings, you can turn it on or off without throwing it out. So we can just uncheck Use Save Column Settings by clicking this menu item. Notice they immediately space out to whatever the default size is. These data grid settings are available on most of the main data input screens.